Hey guys, we are heaven bound on the Freti 530. back guys with another tour with yours truly this time on this walkthrough we have a gorgeous Ferretti 530 as you can see pretty stunning has a nice large extended upper platform and it's uh, pretty glorious so let's jump on and check it out let's get our cameraman on the <laughs> one it's okay so here we are we are on this nice large uh, swim platform and we also have this nice large centerline passerelle for stern to berth uh, boarding. Uh, so cool, let's jump on. Immediately we have a nice little step over here as well to get onto the aft deck right here. Watch the line. So something to point out, this actually is a safety gate that folds out. Let me, let me show you. You pull this, wait, you pull it up. And you see you can close that off and then as it falls out it becomes a nice two-step up to the cockpit cool let's get you through here and here we are nice very spacious uh, cockpit area seating over here for five or well, you can sit the person in the center as well very nicely and we have some uh, nice large water mat that comes with the charter as well and uh yeah Nice overhang, completely covers the entire deck, so you get a good amount of shade all up above. Really lovely. Speakers all around, newly up, uh, updated speakers, so that's also pretty great. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna be jumping in, then going up to see the flybridge, and then ending up in the bow. Okay, so let's head inside. So this beautiful air-conditioned space. Now look at this gorgeous saloon area, really beautiful. We have a nice large TV on the port side, two seats on one end, and then a nice half circle settee on the other. This can easily seat, let's say, about six, seven all around very comfortably. So nice, great social area. Beautiful, everything is very well maintained. It smells lovely in here. Very, very beautiful. Down here on the port side, we have a sunken galley. So. Everything extremely well maintained. We have a convection oven, sink, stove top right behind. Very nice. You can still converse with uh, you know the group in the in the saloon area. Down over here we have the crew quarters, currently used for storage. Uh, well, you can, if you can see them over there, nice little small little hidden door. Has a, a single bed as well and a wet head. Very nice. Good amount of headspace as well. We have an uh, internal staircase that goes up the flybridge as well. In case you know, it rains outside, you can get there in, uh, in a jiffy. On the port side, we have the helm station, the low helm station, a nice two-seater with all the appropriate uh, technology needed. Nice large windscreen and large windows all around, great visibility all around. We have kind of a cloudy day today, so it's not as sunny. Uh, nice dinette here. You can seat four comfortably. Really great layout. Really, really beautiful. Okay, great. So let's go directly to the accommodation area. This is a three cabin layout. We go directly straight ahead to the front to get to the VIP cabin, which is also the master in this sense. A nice large double. Escape hatch up above over there. TV on the side. And then we have its own ensuite, which is right over here circular shower sink and toilet and that door over there is the door uh, to the guest cabin okay so walking further back we get to the guest cabin I just mentioned which is right over here we have two twins side by side good amount of headspace here as well small little TV and then we have the entrance which goes works double to the ensuite, which I showed you earlier. And then directly opposite, we have an identical one, 
which we have again two singles side by side same setup and it's you has a ensuite as well which connects to the day head doors right behind you very nice so all in all we have three cabins and we have two heads um, in this vessel and then we also have the, the crew quarters on the other end older model but has a really great sense of space and uh, yeah it's very very fashionable cool let's uh, now climb up to the flybridge so this will actually require two hands so I might have to watch your head over here okay <laughs> well one hand so we just got up the up the ladder unfortunately this is the one thing one disadvantage that I have for this vessel everything is really perfect it just it's a bit of a climb um, for somebody who's less able but that being said we're up here and the flybridge is absolutely glorious I love the style of flybridge you know it's it's extended it's a very large area the seats all around here as you can see comparison with me there's plenty plenty of space you can see it easily about 10 people all around here very comfortably also something to mention that it has a really cool feature over here in order to get all the way around without actually having to scoot around like this for example I'll give you an example rather than doing this you can just jump on here and then just take the merry-go-round all the way around until you find your spot you have a seat and you spin it back around for the next person to jump on that's <laughs> pretty cool let me get out for example yeah, it's great and we have a conjoined sun pad over here as well really cool and as well as a seat seating right in the front they can easily see too so a lot of sunbathing area seating area really really beautiful and we have the upper helm station right on the other end really lovely very well maintained uh, bimini top as well really beautiful this is uh, my favorite part of the vessel as per usual i always like the fly bridges and that's a given and over here we actually have a wet bar we have a grill top and we have a fridge down below as well great speakers like i mentioned before these are updated speakers oh yeah over there is the hatch i told you it's for the in, uh, internal stairway all the way up there you have it so let's jump back down i would say jump back down let's climb back down so here we are back down from that <laughs> from the flybridge so let's go around the side decks and let's get over to the bow nice solid handrails as well and also grip rails on the side actually a good pretty comfortable walking along them nice width to it and then here we are now this is another massive sun pad over here massive this can lay easily about five across let's say six let me, let me lie down here. yeah yeah one two how do you think five or six five good right? question four or five yeah my size I say five but anyway this is the escape hatch above the VIP cabin pretty great bow everything is really well maintained even the, the upholstery everything here is perfect condition um, you can see this owner takes great care of her vessel we have the anchor winch here the chain locker and yeah so that's about it give her a look from there really gorgeous boat also just hit the charter market about two months ago and is extremely popular off the bat so there you have it guys let's get the goodbyes from here so you have the backdrop of the water right behind me and that's her that's the Ferretti 530 flybridge really beautiful as you can see everything is extremely well maintained and it's waiting for your arrival so uh, if you have any questions leave, your, leave them down below in the comments and also like and subscribe also let me know if you like this uh, t-shirt that I printed mine for the day you know well, it makes sense to chart out the vessel it's actually yours for the day and uh, so there you have it that's it and I'll be catching the next one charter safe and see ya <laughs> it's cute. Oh, I'm gonna try. Let me try it.
nice guest. Get myself up then and the Mitchell will follow. Historialo. <laughs> <laughs> what is over here? Okay, that's closed. Okay. <laughs>